in my community with mentally handicapped people there was a wonderful woman called Janet and I came to one of our homes and I I saw Janet coming up and she says Henry can you give me a blessing you know and as a good priest I put my hand on her and said in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit he says Henry it doesn't work I said it doesn't work yeah I give you a blessing he said it doesn't work and I was confused I said what do you want he says I want a blessing well after the service and there were a lot of people sitting on the floor and I said Janet wants a blessing and she said yes I want a blessing and she walked right up and put her head her head right against my chest and I had this elbow on and and I put it around her and she huddled herself right in me and I brought up her chin a little bit and I said Janet you beautiful woman you're so beautiful we love you so much and I know you you're a little low today you need to hear it again that you are the beloved of God and that we love you she looked up and says yes Henry that's true as he walked back and right after that everybody else said hey I want a blessing too and people came all up and it was blessing people and holding them and telling how good they were and finally one of those big assistants you know Notre Dame football player who was staying with us to help out big strong guy his neck going right here and he said what about me I said come up and they put my hand on his shoulder and I said John God loves you and big tears came out of his we are called to claim the blessing and to bless people wherever we go that's our Christian call to say good things of people not to give them little compliments but to say good things about their being human about their belovedness but we are also broken and I have a deep feeling that our brokenness in this world has a lot to do with relationships maybe you and I are not poor physically economically but we might be poor because there is a brokenness in our hearts and I guess each one of you will know what that means husband and wife won't be able to speak well to each other children and parents feel brokenness in their relationship friends that you sought were there for you suddenly cannot respond to your needs and you can feel an enormous inner anguish and an enormous inner pain if I ask myself what what is my biggest suffering it always somewhere to do with brokenness in the relationships we all have broken hearts somewhere people did not love us the way we want to be loved somewhere we feel rejected abandoned misunderstood marginalized and what do you do with that I want to give you two words first of all you have to have the courage to embrace your brokenness and not deny it to befriend your brokenness to say yes I am in pain and I'm not doing as if I'm not I'm hurting I'm crying out I'm in pain but it is my brokenness and just as I am unique I claim my unique pain we have to have the courage to embrace our brokenness and to claim it as our pain that's what Jesus means by taking up your cross he doesn't say make a cross for anybody else he doesn't say live it live uh, 
create a cross for yourself. He says, simply embrace your cross and say it's mine. You will never be a happy, joyful person when you always deny your brokenness. Oh, it's not so bad, I'll get over it. Yes, let's look at the other side. No, 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 no. First of all, look it in the face and don't be afraid. And secondly, I would like to say to you, dare to put the brokenness under the blessing. Put your brokenness under the blessing that says that you're good. And many of us live it under the curse. Many of us say, well, I wasn't good anyhow, and now look what happened. I lost my friend. Look what happened. He betrayed me. Look what happened. It all proves I'm no good. But Jesus calls us to take our brokenness and put it under the blessing, under the hands who says, you are my beloved daughter. You are my beloved son. On you, my favor rests. And when you put it under the blessing, you will be able to say one day the same words that Jesus said. Didn't you know that we have to suffer and so enter into our glory? When you put your brokenness under the blessing, then your brokenness can be a pruning in which you are purified and made more and more golden, holy for God. That's not easy, but the call.